We've got a beautiful iPhone 10 3D printed case here. We are ready for the drop test. Here we go in three, two, one. Energy attack of the 3D printed case. <laughs> What's up and welcome to another episode of Guys Must Live. Today we're going to find out if an iPhone 10 can survive in 3D printed awesomeness. It's going to be awesomeness, guys. It's going to be awesomeness. It's awesome. We've got not just this custom printed awesome case, but we also have a cage that this is going to go inside of. I mocked up a crazy, like, geometric shape. Literally two days ago, I had no clue how to 3D print anything. I had never used a 3D printer. I'd never used 3D modeling software at all. Thankfully, our sponsor this week came to my rescue. I mean, I was super intimidated by the idea of even 3D printing and 3D modeling because it's a very complex subject and learning anything new that's highly complex like that is very intimidating in my opinion and a little bit scary, quite frankly. But the great thing about Udemy is that it breaks it down step by step and you can take a whole course that teaches you everything you need to know about a topic, a skill, such as web programming, app development, 3D modeling, so many different things that you can learn on Udemy. And they're doing a sale right now, reducing the price of all their courses down to $11.99, which I think is just a steal of a deal for a highly detailed and thorough course. When you complete a course, you even get a certificate of completion that can be used when applying to a job. That's how I learned 3D printing and 3D modeling. I'll have the links down below to some courses I'd recommend taking if you'd like to do something very similar to what I've done right here. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the cage we made to put around this iPhone 10 case. It's gonna be freaking epic. Let's, let's get, get started. started. <laughs> that was wow. bad. That was, that that was, was bad. That was terrible. Wanna do that again? No, we're done. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. <laughs> this is the Flash Forge Creator Pro, my first ever 3D printer. It's got a nice print bed. It's not the largest printer ever, but you can print quite large objects as you can see right here. Let's see if we can get this guy up. What we're gonna do is take this little case apart, slide that iPhone 10 inside there, and then put it back on there, and then we're gonna see if that can protect it from a drop test. This turned out pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. I wanna count how many sides there is real quick. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 17, 18. <laughs> this is really hard to count. One. And there's five, and then there's where five is also five, so that's eleven. Four, <laughs> <laughs> two, three, four, five. So another five. <laughs> I keep, I keep going. It's so hard to tell the layers, man. It's five. This is 10, a big deal, all right. Fifteen, thirty. I think there's thirty-two. Okay. A tri a tree a contadigon. A tree a contadigon. What? <laughs> a tria conta digon. Well, I'm glad I know uh, that now. <laughs> <laughs> so important. In the process of putting the iPhone 10 inside, we uh, we we did quite serious damage to the content tritidin. So we need to reattach pieces. <laughs> go guys a phone inside of a case inside of a cage try a content it on try no i no. lost it <laughs> i think i said it right and then i lost it it's a phone inside of a case inside of a try content and on try try and get it on try get it on and on try get it on and on okay so uh it turns out the phone is just a little bit too tall so we had to do a little bit of uh jerry rigging jerry rigging but it's in it's in there and we're ready to drop test this bad boy. Do you think the iPhone 10 will survive drop testing off of my roof, which is about a 50 foot drop? Post your opinion in the top right. Do you think it'll survive? I don't think so. I, I believe in the power of my 3D printing powers. <laughs> I think this thing is going to hit, it's going to explode, and that screen is just going to get decimated. Dude. It's fancy, <laughs> but it's like an egg. It's, it's, good. It's, good. it's kind of, I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit brittle, but hey, I've been it's wrong. a content to get to dawn. I believe we're good to go. Let's find out. We're going to go ahead and take this on the roof and throw it off. Here we go. Let's do this. We are ready for the drop test. Here we go. In three, two, one. Oh! That thing just exploded. I have no clue whether it survived that drop. That was more explosive than I thought it was gonna be. Let's go find out. I mean, I don't wanna say it, but I'm gonna say it. He was right. I told you, look at that. 
Oh, it's yeah. looking gorgeous. <laughs> it is looking gorgeous. Yeah, that and actually held up extremely well. Even the case did on the inside. That still looks like a legit case with very little issues. The hot glue is almost like gentrifies the, the impact springs. G gentrifies? It's like shocks. I think if this thing had landed on its head, it probably wouldn't have done as well, but it landed perfectly on its back, so. Really? Yep. Okay, well let's take a look at the slow-mo. Okay, here comes that 3D printed case. <laughs> that looks so awesome. I'm not gonna, it's just really cool. And mm -hmm. <laughs> You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me a lot of the fidget spinner case impact, where it's like oh, hits, yep. and then mm -hmm. all the pieces just come up. Just plastic everywhere. Yeah. It was a massacre of plastic. Try a Contadagon for the win. Well, let's take a look at the super, super slow mo. The super, this. uber slow mo. Oh my goodness. Here it comes. It's rotating in for impact. There you go. Ooh, it just comes apart so nice. That was a meteoric explosion <laughs> there, right there, for sure. It reminds me a lot of, like, I don't know, like a spaceship crashing into, like, a planet or something. <laughs> like, yeah. And we've got the phone flopping, flopsies. I, I, it is nice to know that I was able to put it on its back. It kind of spun out of control <laughs> on the way down. So ended up on the back. That worked out quite nicely. Yeah, but look, looking at how that exploded out though, like I'm pretty positive if that landed on like its corner or on its side or head or something, it probably wouldn't have done so hot. I don't know. I think that cage did a really good job of taking the brunt of the impact and then just sending it everywhere. I think it would have survived from any angle. So the turns out 3D printed cases make pretty good drop proof cases, at least if you 3D print a cage around your case. Uh, or if you 3D print a Contradon case. Contra teacher Don. <laughs> yes, so, try a Contra Don. I've been practicing this word. I'm pretty sure it's trying to constantly gone. Only Darren would practice something like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't forget to go check out Udemy if you want to learn a new skill or talent. I absolutely think it's totally worth your time. If you really want to improve something about yourself, get, learn a new skill, find a new job, start taking some online courses. They have free courses as well as paid courses over on Udemy, so go give it a shot. I'm personally taking the Adobe Illustrator stuff. It's pretty sweet. And I'm taking the Fusion 360 course as well as a creative writing course. Anyway, go check it out. That's it for this episode. We'll see you next time. Brandon and Darren out. Woo! Wow. You wooed with me.